if you're wondering where Liz is, she's right behind the camera! Hi! So what's this video about? Well, ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a princess. I know, so original, right? <laughs> but now that I'm all grown up, I'm gonna make my childhood dream come true! Yeah. You remember that big plastic bag full of plastic bags that I collected last year? Yes. I'm going to use all of these plastic bags to make myself a Disney princess gown. And you already know which Disney princess I'm talking about, right? Uh, Cinderella? Anna? <laughs> so I'm going to take you guys on this journey with me and let's begin. First, we're gonna take this plastic bag, fold it in half, and then cut off the bottom and the handles. Now we have this rectangular piece. We'll do the same for all of the other plastic bags and then tape them side by side to get a long roll of material. It's okay if the plastic bags are not the same size, we can always make adjustments here and there. Now we're ready to make our dress. We will start with the bottom of the dress. For this, we will make three different skirts that will be worn together as layers. We want our dress to look huge, so we got this yellow hoop skirt from Club Factory and we're gonna take measurements for our skirts from here. This hoop here is 3 meters long, so we're gonna take 6 meters of our plastic material, cut it in half and tape them together horizontally like this. We also folded and taped it like this all along the length of the material to make a little tunnel for our elastic band. Next, for the ruffles, we're gonna take 9 meters of our plastic material and using a needle and thread that is exactly 3 meters long, we're gonna stitch it along the length like this. Ooh, and the ruffles are done! Look at how long this is! We made another layer of ruffles just like the other one to make it thicker and fluffier and then taped it to the bottom of the thing we made earlier and here it is, the whole thing folded in half and taped other sides so that it can function as an actual skirt. Just one more thing, time to drive an elastic band through that tunnel we made and stitch the ends together. Ta-da! Our innermost skirt is done! We use the same technique for the next skirt, but this one is shorter because it's going to be worn above that other skirt, obviously. And for the outermost skirt, we just drove an elastic band through a tunnel along the length of a 2.5 meter long material and ta-da! It's done! Now let's move on to the top! We're gonna take many layers of the plastic material and tape them together fold it in half and tape that to form a cylinder. But remember, we have to make sure that we can fit through that hole so it should be big enough. Now we're gonna cut it like this from the sides, fold these thingies and tape the straps on. And that's about it, you know, it's, it's done. Okay, I know it kind of looks shapeless right now, but we can fix that. I have this roll of... Um, I'm gonna tie it all around my waist. Time to squeeze it all in. Everything I had for breakfast and lunch and dinner. Yeah. Now I'm gonna tie it in the back. Hope you enjoyed it and we really hope that this is 
inspires you to make your own dreams come true no matter how small or silly because that's gonna make you happy we all want to be happy lots of love and smile